To download Keepass XC, go to this website, keepassxc.org, and make sure to download the proper version according to your operating system. Keepass XC works on Windows, Mac OS, and all Linux-based operating systems. Once you download Keepass XC, you will see something like this that invites you to create a new database. That is a file in which you will be storing and protecting your passwords. They will be stored in an encrypted form. When you choose to create a new database, you will be invited to name your database. You can choose to call it passwords, or you can choose to call it something less obvious, like flowers or family pictures. Also make sure to put your database somewhere where you can easily find it. For the purposes of this demonstration, we are going to put the database on our desktop. Now you are invited to create something called the master key. It is in a way a password of all passwords. It is the key to your database, so make sure to make it long, complex, hard to guess, but also memorable, because you will have to remember it. Once you do that, you are given access to your database. This is where you are going to generate and store all of your passwords. Let's see how to do it using one example. Let's generate our first password. To do so, we need to click on that uh, little golden key with a green arrow. We can then enter a title for the password, a username, and ask KeePass to generate a very strong and long and complex password for us. To do so, click on the black dice button as shown on the screen. This will allow you to control the length of the generated password and whether it contains uh, cap caps or special characters and so on. Once you're satisfied with your generated password, click on the apply button. Once you click OK, you are done and your password is ready to be used. You can repeat the same operation to save more password on your database. Let's now see how we can use our newly generated password on a popular webmail service like Gmail. To do so, simply go to Gmail, enter your username, then go back to KeePass and simply copy your password by highlighting the account that you want to use either right click and copy your password or hit control C and then go back to Gmail and simply paste your password and you're done. Thank you for watching.